major changes are coming to Europe and we will talk about European customers, what this means, what is happening with Tesla over the next 24 months. I will go into the details with you right now. For US customers and Chinese customers, this is not a big surprise. You guys have already local production happening. Chinese customers get their car from Shanghai. US customers are getting their car from Austin or Fremont. Now for us in Europe, that's not the case. We have now Giga Berlin for the Model Y production, but not even all variants are currently being produced. Now, if we are looking into 24 months ahead, we can expect Model 3 production to happen in Giga Berlin as well. And further future products are planned as well based on recent reports. Now, looking into Europe, that would mean that Israel or UK, the entire European continent itself, will be delivered from Giga Berlin and maybe future um, new sites that Tesla is planning over there. If we look to China, China will concentrate on the Australian market, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. Then we have Korea, then we have Japan and of course mainland China. Now this local production happening over there in China will make it much easier for Tesla to not transport cars all over the place, all over the world. And we will have local production here in Germany and maybe in the future in a second factory in Europe. I do find that the right strategy, this will um, drive costs down for Tesla and this will make the delivery experience much, much better. We do know that right now there are still a lot of challenges and there will be challenges ahead, especially when it comes to deliveries to UK customers right now, which are not even happening yet from Giga Berlin. So I do expect challenges will be solved over the next half year. And then looking forward for the Model 3 production, we will get the ability to order a Tesla much faster and as well deliver and get the car much faster. On the other hand, this would mean local production in Europe, the same way as the US is investing a lot of money in local production. If it's the semiconductors, batteries and more, there is a lot of stuff happening here in the US. And now for us in Europe, this is also important to get less dependent on China. We know that there are challenges ahead and we shouldn't be too dependent on that. So Tesla will be more independent if they do a production in Europe for the Model 3 and future EVs. Now talking about Northvolt, we also have challenges in Germany as Northvolt was actually planning a big manufacturing plant in Heide and currently they are actually thinking about focusing on the US because of um, the low electricity prices. On the other hand, the prices are actually going down as well right now. Now looking into um, Giga Texas, Based on the calculation of Troy, we have Giga Shanghai reached 20,000 units in exactly 100 days, Giga Texas in 151 and Giga Berlin in 187. So we are a bit slower than in the US and Shanghai. Nevertheless, I do share with you the information for Q4. I do expect a big push here from Giga Berlin. Now you see many changes are happening and I do like the strategy of Tesla to localize the production like in the US, like in Europe than in the future and in China. This will give Tesla a bit more space and room to even play with prices. We see that in the US the prices have declined by 1.7%. Again, this is the transaction price. So this could mean that people are moving towards cheaper Tesla versions and not paying any more that much for extras or the high priced um, Tesla versions. I do believe um, Tesla will be um, at some point in Europe in the future for the Model 3 de um, decline the prices as well. Um, I do expect um, like uh, Ford actually that we're declining or decreasing the prices in China right now as well. That this entri entire price craziness that we have seen over the last 12 to 15 months will come to an hold and we will see some decline in prices because people are not willing to pay anymore um, the prices that we have seen all over the board, not just with Tesla, but with other car makers as well. 
Now, Tesla has been um, very good in um, generating net profit. They were actually generating a 3.3 billion in net profit margin. That is astonishing when it comes to the car business. If we are looking forward and checking out what German car makers are trying to achieve, this is um, very, very good. Um, for Tesla, this also means that they have come to a um, level of net profit margins where they're actually overtaking some big names here. And this is not uh, a surprise, but again, it is a milestone. And if we are looking into the numbers of Amazon, of course, not being in the car business that uh, that hardly like Tesla, um, Tesla is actually achieving more net income um, than Amazon. And we will look into that in a moment because I do find that an important milestone and it really shows that the operating income, to correct myself here, is actually already higher than Amazon. And so we do see where the road can go for Tesla in the next few um, quarters. I do expect major, major income um, over the next year, especially as the margins should increase or stay stable um, despite price decreases like in China because Tesla is very efficient and Giga Berlin and Austin will turn to out to make a lot of profit next year. Now looking into um, another statistic um, from Germany actually, um, the average um, range that people do expect to have in an EV is 500 kilometers. Based on Handelsblatt, um, the average owner of such an EV is traveling 24 kilometers a day. You see 53%, 24 kilometers. So we do see the expectation to have 500 kilometers. On the other hand, you are not even traveling that every single day. And even just the little, little part of 150 kilometers, which is just 2%, they would achieve that as well um, on one charge if they would buy a Model 3 standard range. So again, I think we are already on track to make it possible for owners of an EV to have not any range anxiety anymore. Talking about um, success and achievements, the Model Y is going to achieve $50 billion in revenue. That is what we are expecting this year and is on track to deliver over 760,000 cars. I think it is without a doubt the case that next year the Model Y will be the best selling car all over the place. Even with ICE cars and everything, when it comes to EVs, it is already the number one. And I don't see any car out there actually achieving the same numbers. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. If you're new, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And we see us hopefully tomorrow here back to another episode. Glad to have you here. Thank you very much.